CataractCoach.com, and it's an interesting case where I have a lens that's misloaded. So we're expanding the capsular bag with viscoelastic. It's a floppy iris case, and you can see we had a smaller pupil, but now with viscoelastic, it's a little bit larger. And the technician hands me the lens. And we start to inject the lens, and we notice that, wait a minute, that's just a single haptic. What should we do? Well, pause. Remember, this haptic has to go in the eye in the opposite direction. So let's twist our injector hand. The haptic should look like an anti-S, not like the letter S. So we deliver that, and we use the chopper to get the haptic under the rexus, and now deliver the rest of the optic and trailing haptic. And we'll use our chopper to flip it over. And again, ensuring that the haptics are not in the S configuration, so that looks great. Rotate the lens into position. We'll ensure that the lens is completely in the capsule bag. We'll remove the viscoelastic. So high flow here. As the viscoelastic comes out, we'll notice that the pupil does come down. It's a little bit floppy. Going behind the lens to remove viscoelastic. Let's get the lens centered up. And I also want to show you at the end of the case how we deal with the floppy iris when we're sealing up the incisions. So now the lens looks good in the proper position. Viscoelastics removed from the eye. Going great. So as we come out of the eye, even if we come out slowly, look what happens. We get prolapse of the iris in the incision. So first, let's get the iris back in the eye. A little bit of a push of the iris there. You can hydrate the incision. I don't mind if the AC is flat now. That's okay. Now that that's hydrated and sealed, now through the side port, patient's not so cooperative here, but now through the side port, we'll refill the AC, deepen it, and ensure that we don't have any iris stuck in that temporal incision. We also get out some residual viscoelastic you can see there. So that looks pretty good. We're going to seal that up, and we'll call this a day. Thank you for watching.